The fourth anniversary season begins as Call of Duty Mobile gave us the first gift of the anniversary. To claim the gift, you will have to scan this QR code that you see on the screen right now. It will redirect you to Call of Duty Mobile and there you will get a character skin and a gun skin. Unfortunately, both these rewards were already in my inventory so I tried a second account and there I also had one reward so at least I got something new. It's not crazily overwhelming but it's good for a start. We might get more insane looking rewards for free within the anniversary. Let's also take a look at this trailer in detail and see what's in there. There is literally nothing new except the things that we know already. However, we could take a really good look at the legendary Richtofen. And here you can clearly see his face. So he's not a younger version of him. It's clearly Richtofen but maybe from another universe kind of thing. That's what I told you. Richtofen has different versions and this could be one of them. But they have focused a lot on legendary Richtofen. They keep showing him and the legendary nail gun we are about to get in the next season. Here also you can take a really good look at the iron sight of this brand new legendary nail gun. Seems pretty good for a secondary legendary weapon. Apart from that we could also see two character skins that we already have seen before. This female skin is expected to be a Nixie skin although she looks way different. And also we can see the legendary KN44 with her. So this whole draw is coming out with a 50% off discount and that's a great news. Opposite to her we can see the legendary MK9 with the character skin we are supposed to get in that lucky draw. This character is expected to be a synaptic skin called Archon Rex. And here we have the RT50 legendary with a brand new skin for the alias. And that's pretty much they have revealed in this trailer. And at the end, we can again see legendary Tofan with his iconic nail gun. All right, that's all about the trailer. Let's also take a look at some of the other stuff we will see in the fourth anniversary. We also have solid details about the season 10 fourth anniversary battle pass. The four character skins in this battle pass are David Mason. I'm talking about the horny one. Then we will also get a brand new Ether skin. And in this other image, we can also see a brand new Domino skin, which will also be a part of the Battle Pass. And the Beatrice Midnighter that I have shown you previously, which is from another Call of Duty title, is also a part of the Battle Pass. So there we go, four character skins in the Battle Pass. In the Ground Forces subscription, the character skin we're gonna get is Francis Dark Opulence skin. The skin is from Modern Warfare and it looks sick. In the fourth anniversary we will get a four legendary gun crate and surely there will be time limited guns in this as well but also you will get a permanent version so this is going to be a really good deal the four legendary weapons are ak-117 dazzling rhythm qq9 sigran crg 20 millimeter ticker to hell and rpd yellow jacket fourth anniversary vote event is over and as the results the returning mythic will be the m13 morning star the returning legendary character will be legendary monta ray and not to mention we will get the mythic switchblade x9 as well well, in all versions of the game. Let's also talk a little bit about legendary Richtofen. Looking at the Richtofen, it looks like he has a futuristic outfit and he definitely doesn't look any younger than what he used to be. Maybe they came up with the masked idea to give it a more futuristic look instead of the usual Richtofen we know. Anyways, you guys already know there were multiple versions of Richtofen in Call of Duty franchise. Maybe this is another version of Richtofen that they never revealed before that is exclusive to Call of Duty Mobile. That's what I think. Let's take a look at who Richtofen is and what he is capable of. This German scientist appears in Call of Duty franchise in different versions or in different forms. Being one of the major characters in either story, Richtofen serves as the main character in multiple Call of Duty titles. If we talk more about Richtofen's characteristics, although he got multiple versions, his attitude is always the same. For an example, when he is an evil version, he wants the worlds to worship him. But if it is a good version, still he wants the world to follow him. So putting the intentions aside, what he wants from others is the same. What are your thoughts about getting legendary Tofen in Call of Duty Mobile? I believe this is great and this is high time they should bring a legendary version of a main zombie character in Call of Duty Mobile. The free legendary from the Kuruhana crate will also be revealed. They said they are going to reveal it at the end of October but we still didn't get any news about it. So hopefully it will be a really Really good one. They also say the theme is about Black Lotus and further says it has a beautiful and a unique design. What else would they say? Not only the Kuruhana free legend, we will also get the M4 Royal Black Soul as a free legendary in the global version. Now this will be free for everyone and you will have to do some tasks to get it where we will have to log into the game
game each and every day play matches score some kills and then you will get the cards when you collect 100 of these exchange cards you will be able to redeem it to get the permanent version of this m4 royal black sword it's much better than the m4 court jester the kill effect might not be the best one but it's a free legendary so it's good enough free to play players will be able to get two legendaries within a very short amount of time that's a great news i guess just because we are going to get the m4 royal black soul some data miners believe the ghost black and gold will also come to the global version for free now this is not confirmed anywhere but this is just a rumor the cdl bundle that was never released will be released in the fourth anniversary there's a helicopter with a brand new geometry you should definitely get this one the season 10 balance changes are as follows DRH range is increased as follows. The chest multiplier is increased from 1 to 1.15. Base reload max speed is increased from 1.33 seconds to 1.16 seconds, which is another good buff. And they have done a crazy thing. They have removed all penalties of the 25 OTM mag. I love the change, but I like the 30 OTM mag more. Moving on to BK57, they have adjusted the range. They clearly wanted BK57 to be better in close range, and they have adjusted the mid range as well. Weird change, honestly. For the Orden, they have increased the ADS speed probably because we have an order to sell asm10's first range increase from 16 meters to 20 meters which is insane the base reload speed is also increased from 1.58 seconds to 1.28 seconds that's kind of fast and they have done a really good thing that is the sprint to fire delay now it is decreased by 20 milliseconds the movement speed is also increased finally they have done something good to asm10 for the fr556 they have reduced the aim shake magnitude it's a great assault rifle with really good accuracy but huge aim shake so i bet it's going to be better now. PPSH 40 buns lateral recoil is reduced. Moving on to the Striker 45, they have increased the range from 5 meters to 6 meters, 10 meters to 11 meters, and 20 to 22. Not a huge change by the looks, but it will make a huge difference in gameplay. Moving on to the brand new Mythic CX9, the bullet velocity is increased from 450 meters per second to 660 meters per second. That's a huge buff. Not only that, they have also increased damage in the last two ranges. Earlier it was 12, 11, now now it's 12.5 12 so they really want it to be better in long ranges the chest multiplier is also increased from 1.1 to 1.15 the hip fire accuracy is also increased earlier it was 250 200 now it's 190 90 so it's basically a better submachine gun now they have also done the following changes to the given attachments msmc's lateral recoil is also decreased just like the ppsh 41 the rus range is increased but only the first two ranges they have come up with a change for the m4 lmg again the M shake is decreased and the 30 round light mag now the ADS time is increased earlier it was minus 10% now it's minus 30% which is great however the bullet impact is reduced from 1.35 to 1.3 that's fair because 30 mag it's more like an assault rifle the final gun they have changed is the PDW what they have done is revert the changes they have done in the last season so the recoil buff is reverted to pre-buff version